One of my favorite things to do in the hobby is to look for dollar box deals. Today, we are gonna be going through the best dollar boxes at the Dallas Card Show. If you ever come into the Dallas Card Show, enter in, you enter in through the main entrance. You're gonna walk all the way down and you're gonna see a pile of people just like this. It's hours looking for deals. Like for example, I literally walked by found this Emmett Smith White Select and a T-Mac, which is my childhood right here, purple. If you guys have ever been through the dollar boxes, what is your best dollar box find? Comment that down below. Let's get some deals. Yay. Like a kid in a candy store. All right. I need some juice. Team tomorrow. What about today? Why aren't they, why isn't it today? Why does it have to be tomorrow? Kenny P, how to lose money. LeBron Green, that's cool. Today they have the top report card program or something like that. And you took in your report card to your local card shop and you get like credits or packs or something like that. Like 15 years ago. So if you got a 4.0 GPA, Top's gonna give you uh, two packs of Series 1. Bring it back, Tops. I'm, I'm gonna go back to school and submit my report card. I'll be a big kid. <laughs> Guys, this is what Card Collector 2 does. Look at this. CC2. Quickest hands in the game. No, no. Oh, Lori Mark and rookie. No, no. Jason Kidd. No, no, no. Oh, Steph Curry. Norris Cole. Insert. We'll take it. All right, this box is done. Oh my gosh, that's sick. Rest in peace. Demarius Thomas Blue Prism. I'm already finding stuff. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, not Michael Jordan. So something I want to advise people and educate people on in dollar boxes this year is, I'll show you an example. These are all dollar cards, right? Emmett Smith, T-Mac, Emmett Smith, Derrick Henry, Patrick Willis, Brian Urlacher. So that's a total of six cards, which would be six dollars. Realistically, I can offer three bucks. Whenever I go in these dollar boxes, I'm not gonna try, I'm gonna obviously get a doll, like I'm gonna pick out, the first objective is to pick out the best cards you can find in these boxes. The next objective is to get a good deal, right? We all like a good deal. When you see a card stickered at 250 and it comps at 220, you're gonna wanna pay like 175, hopefully. It's not always the case, but everybody wants a good deal because you wanna buy it and resell it or you wanna buy it for your collection. The key I'm making here is the more you buy, the better it is. A dealer, say you spend $250 in single dollar cards, you're probably not gonna spend $250. If you've been going through these boxes, like this guy's probably been here for a few hours, if you're putting in the time, like you'll get rewarded and the dealers recognize that and like it's a big part. Also with the shift in the card market and the economy, I can see why a lot of the price points between $1 and $250 are gonna be really prime time these next six months as we heat up in sports cards. So. Pretty cool stuff, you can find some awesome deals. Let's find some more deals. Six dollars, six cards? Not enough, we need a hundred. IP autographs, Chris Duon. Right. Take Michael Vick color match red. All day long, that's a, that's a great 50 cent to a dollar card. I like the Larry Fitzgerald red. I'll, I'll get all those. Larry, dude, be, honestly, like this Fitzgerald red, like that's this card is sick. It's a color match red die cut. Kind of looks like a firefighter symbol, but looks cool. So you find the card and you want to find out what the price is. Is this worth the dollar? Or is it worth more? Pricing cards can be. You can take it the easy way or the hard way. I'm gonna show you the easy way. You can go on one, a website called 130point.com, which I used because it shows you the best offer prices and it'll show you sales. They also have Alt, XYZ, and they have Card Ladder. But for the sake of quick, just quick, because these are dollar cards, I'm not gonna go through all that research. I'm just gonna go on eBay and look, and I'm just gonna look up Kyle Hamilton 2022 Prism. All we have to do is know the name, the year, and it's a red, white, blue, RWB. 
So this card right now, let's see if we can buy. So what I usually do is I'll go here. I'll go to buy it now, I'll click lowest price. So I just wanna see what I could buy it for. I could buy this card right now for $1.25 with 87, 87 cents shipping, plus tax is gonna be about three to $4. Um, if I get this for 50 cents, Kyle Hamilton, I just know he's he played really well in, in the games I've watched him play in. Uh, against the Niners, he crushed it. Um, but just to show you guys, we know we know that they're selling it for a dollar, but let's see what it actually sells for. So I'm gonna go, I click Kyle Hamilton, I click sold listings, then I'm gonna go to ended recently, and we'll just go through them. $2.20, $1.99, $1.75, $2.50, $2.50, $2.50, $2.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50,
Football's tough, man. Now I see why he's talking about football not being like so. It could. Oh, Jared Goff rookie. That's sick. Let's go, Jared Goff rookie. It's a cool card. The momentum's there, man. If they win, like Jared Jared Goff, the thing people, I don't think people realize, like I collected when Jared Goff sent the team to the Super Bowl. His RPAs were like, his RPAs now are like 100, 150, but like when he went to the Super Bowl, his RPAs were like 100 to 200. Like, same price, just it was a different time back then. So, pretty crazy to see, but yeah, I'll take that Jared Goff rookie. Basically, when I'm going through these two, is like, I'm not thinking I'm gonna pay a dollar for them. If I'm, since I'm gonna buy a lot, I'm hoping I pay 50 cents each, 75 cents each. I don't wanna pay a dollar each, but I have to buy them enough to get to that point. That's why they always, that's why, like, even when I run the whatnots, I say the more you buy, the better it is. There's more, there's a discount on shipping anyway, but it just in general, if you're in person, better deals. Tyrese Halliburton rookie. I have a hard time buying him just because the Kings traded him. So like I have so many of his rookies in my PC, but he's not really my PC. <laughs> Skylar Thompson, CMC. So what I'm looking for too is like, I'm looking for players that are, Dr. Phil? That's what your thing says, oh. That's sick, all right, so I'm looking for players that um, have upside, right? Kind of banking in on the next wave. Um, but at the same time, tapping into cool looking cards, special inserts, throwback, just absolute beasts, stuff like Derek Jeter, Jason Bartlett. Wow. Jason Bartlett, what a throwback. I made a huge mistake. I just went through the stack. I just put it in the box that I'm going through. I put it on the side so I put it away later. Or else I'm going to keep looking over the same cards over and over and over again. One time I was watching some guy go through the dollar boxes. Oh, this slam is sick. I gotta buy that. I watched some guy do this. I'm not joking. The guy went like this, flipped all the cards over, and all he was doing is looking for numbering. But some of the modern cards are numbered on the front, but he was looking for the numbered on the back, just going like this the whole time. Pretty interesting. Lamar Jackson, he's gonna be huge tomorrow, but those are base cards. Elijah Green, top pick. Crystal Lave. Pretty solid school. Desmond Bain's gonna take over this team. I'm gonna take all these. I'm gonna put them on the side though. Aaron Rodgers for the PC, already have that. Dylan Brooks Mojo. So, something you'll probably notice is I, I do get a lot of rookie cards. And like sometimes I do get base cards. Um, sometimes I'll sometimes in my videos I'll say, oh that's just base. But sometimes I'll buy the base because I know I can get it autographed. When I was a kid I used to get autographs. So like, I knew if I was going to like a Dodger game, let's just use this as an example. Or no, this is a better one. We go to a Grizzlies game, Desmond Bain. I heard he's pretty cool about autographs, but I go to the game. If the door's open at 7.30, get there when the door's open, go down to the tunnel. I could get Desmond Bain to sign this rookie card. I mean, it's it's worth more with a sign than not sign. So in-person autographs played a big role in me growing up in the hobby, but you'll catch me every once in a while, I'll buy rookies or just cool looking cards because I can get them signed, like meeting Aaron Rodgers and getting this signed next summer. That'd be kind of cool. So. It's just personal preference, but if you ever see me buy rookies in the back of my mind, I always think about getting them signed or sending them into an autograph signing. Salam, there they are. Hey, Salam. What's up, bro? What's up, How you doing? What's up, man? Bro, what's good? Flow, man. What up, man? Like, We're some growing it. Let's see who's gonna cave in first. Mojo, you're next. Quick cutting your hair. I know. I gotta stop cutting my hair. I need the Iranian flow, man. Yes. It's competitive out there. Yeah. You Heck started it all. Yeah, you did. It's over, man. We hey, we either complain nobody's buying cards, or we complain we don't get good deals anymore. <laughs> That's what happened in it's November. one or the nobody's other. Buying. That's crazy. The hobby flow, man. November is because it's everyone's preparing for Christmas, and like there's no shows. Yeah. Now New Year, everyone wants to buy cards again. It's crazy. How it goes. Good to see you, bro. Walk catch around. We'll catch up with y'all. Oh, let's go. Aaron Fox rookie for the PC for one dollar all day, bro. That's a PC. I've only found three PC cards, but it's just because personal preference. Like, all I talked about this, but since I moved to LA, all my PC cards are back home. So what I'm gonna do is form out a new five row, and I'm gonna do a new PC showcase. So I'm gonna start getting different stuff. Kawhi, he doesn't get hobby love. Jimmy Butler, they're like, I'll tell you this, another topic. Kawhi and Jimmy Butler, great basketball players. 
they don't get Hobby Love, and I don't know if they will. Jimmy Butler and Kawhi. Uh, J- Kawhi had ch- had championships. Jimmy Butler's just a great player, but the hobby is not going to be like, let me buy all those Kawhi cards. I think Spurs fans love Kawhi, and I think at some level, Jimmy Butler's just he's a great basketball player. But I don't think anybody's going to go spend ten to twenty thousand dollars on any Jimmy Butler cards and be like, yeah, this is awesome. You know, it's just it's weird. That's just it's a weird. It's different. Like I'd rather buy Jason Tatum than both of those guys because the upside. Steve Nash rookie. That's a classic. I gotta. I'm gonna make a little vintage throwback basketball pile too. Why not? Lamelo. Lamelo just came back. He's been balling. JJ Redick up city. That's cool looking. Seahawk fan, aren't you? I'll add it to the pile. That's cool. Jonathan Taylor from Wisconsin. Gold prisms. No, I'm just kidding. Gardner Minshew. Ian Hutchinson. Baker Mayfield, rookie. Let's go, Tampa. Fire the cannons. Nick Chubb, rookie. The heck? Calvin Johnson, rookie. Hey, this box is loaded. Ted Ginn, number. Oh, we're on a roll. Ken Walker. Who's that? Jerry Rice? Star Salutes? Troy Palomali, finest refractor. Jay okay, Watt? This is insane. Patrick Mahomes? Oh, LT, that's sick. Nicole Hardeman, take those. And Othsburger. JJ Watt color match red. Oh, Andy Dalton. That's cool out of 99. DJ Chark, Michael Thomas. Oh, Michael Thomas out of 199. That's cool. Antonio Gates, Jr. I didn't even know he had a son. Pretty cool looking card. Jordan Travis. I gotta save that for my buddy. <laughs> looks, it's a one of, looks like a one of one. They're selling the JC Horn PC here. There's more JC Horn cards than I've ever seen. I might buy those. I met his dad and went to dinner with his dad. He's a good guy. Joe Horn. He was a good he was a good football player. Rashawn Gary had a 199. That's a cool card. He's good. Alright guys. We're doing some, I'm trying I'm trying to stay laser focused here. Show you guys some of these pickups. Out of 99, Tim Brown in the dollar box. Aiden O'Connell, Christian Watch in the orange. Stetson Bennett, pink. Tom Brady, Gronk. Luke Keekley was a great player. Alex Smith out of 199. Carson Palmer out of 99. Geno Smith, rookie. Look at these Jared Goffs. Goff, Goff. Rashawn Gary out of 199. JC Horn. AP, little LA Rams, Panay Sewell, JC Horn, Steph Curry matching numbers, Michael Jordan 90s, John Wall numbered, Saquon rookies. All day long. Khalil Mack out of 199. Sick. Sick. Pat Tillman off to contenders. 
The rest of the beast, American hero. You just talked about the refrigerator. William Perry. The refrigerator. This is a 2007 Topps Chrome. I talk about this set a lot, but it's Adrian Peterson's rookie year, Calvin Johnson's rookie year, Ted Ginn Jr. I loved watching him in college. But this is a Reggie Wayne white refractor at 869. That's a great card for $1. It's probably one of my favorite dollar cards we bought today. That is sick. Reggie Wayne color match with the Indianapolis Colts. That was a big team. They played the Bears in the Super Bowl and beat them. It's fire. Good ones throwing them open, right? He throws them up. Yeah. So something I love seeing, it doesn't happen as often as you think, but I like when sports card companies honor American heroes or like a breast cancer awareness or something bigger than these cards. And Panini did that with this right here. It's a Clay Matthews breast cancer awareness die cut. It's from 2015 Crown Royale. I want to see more of this. I need to see like bigger than card stuff happen. Like I love, I would love to see like an American hero tribute to like Pat Tillman, um, you know, and obviously cancer survivors. Bigger than you know cards type situations outside of us. Um, it's cool to see that in here, so I'm picking that up. So I've never, I've never seen this card before. I'm gonna pick it up for my PC. Picking up some new stuff. So this is a Field Vision Aaron Rodgers. What's up, buddy? Let's go. 2016 Donruss Elite. It's a cool looking card. I picked that up from my PC. It's Tony Parker Prism. Sold for two dollars. Two bucks. I do think like it, I, I, one set that I did stop focusing on was, I was doing really good about a year and a half ago, and then we just started traveling too much, and I, I have it all in a box, I just haven't sorted, so. That was, this is the first year of Prism. It's like, and it's cheap, it's cheaper now than what it used to be. I spent like, on the LeBron, I had to spend like $100 on it at one point, and now it's probably like, 30 bucks, if that. That's cool. Look at that Tim Duncan, are you kidding me? And it has this, uh, this actually is for a dollar, are you kidding me? 2000 Tim Duncan Team USA with the, uh, I don't know what you call this, the coating protector on it. I'm taking that, dude, that's Grant, out for the year. Clay Thompson Pinnacle. Is that a rookie? No. It's a cool card though. LeBron James. It's kind of cool. Zion Purple with the King's Court. A Slay rookie. Jason Kidd rookie. Cal Berkeley. Brace Hall rookie. That's cool. Take that. Aaron Rodgers Silver. That's a cool one. Randy Moss. Adrian Peterson. I remember one year everyone was freaking about this guy, Kellen Mond. I think as we collect more, especially with the hype and the hobby, you see the, the dodges and the misses. Kellen Mond, Desmond Ritter, Sam Howell. It's not great. Sam Howell's okay, but I don't know. That was a yikes. I was in on Desmond Ritter, so I messed up too. Players can be great on the court, but if they're off the court, if they're not doing a good job, John Morant, you know, the issue there, the thing I think about Jaw though is like he, I, th I think he learned his lesson, right? That's the key is can they learn their lesson? Because I think the big factors that go into cards is like, you got to win games, you got to be marketable and like, and you got to have some flair. And Jaw has some flair. He's a great basketball player. Unfortunately, he comes back and he gets hurt. And now it's kind of back to, it's not about his character. It's just about his health. So the, the difference between character and health, the battling that with um, John Moran, it's kind of tough. So. You go through it though. I mean, John Morant, I can just name some players. John Morant, Wander Franco, um, who else? I mean. Aaron Hernandez. I mean, yeah, Aaron Hernandez, if that, like back in that day, like controversy of any kind, like not only is it, you're not gonna root for them as a fan, it's tough to buy their cards, but with Jaw, it's a different case. I think he's gonna, re he's reforming. He's gotta be healthy next year. Um, Grizzlies are definitely in a rebuild right now, so. They gotta figure it out. All right, here we are at the Dallas Card Show. Roscoe Rips here with a game-worn Tom Brady at a flawless 2022 uh, 9.5 BGS. This card is for sale. Guys, hit me up on Instagram, Roscoe Rips underscore PNW, here with Mojo and his, his crew. What a card, holy. 
Thank you guys. They don't call him Quick Flip for nothing. Look at this guy. He's got me. Just picked up this Jordan Love. Look at that. A little fifty dollar deal, quickie. Oh, man, now he's in the playoff race. Oh, he's in, he's in. after he said that, I'm trying to buy cards and I can't do it anymore. I don't even know. I haven't looked around yet, but <laughs> I'm, everyone I've talked to, is like, oh, it's so competitive. I'm like, you gotta be. See, I'm a really competitive person. You'll see it next week too. I sh I, I'm pretty sure I'm playing in the uh, 3v3 tournament for basketball. All right, I'm who you guys you got? First game, team Santiago first... or Team Cibles? Yeah, I'm on Santiago's team. We're gonna bring Team Gabagool to another yeah. level. What an awesome day at the Dallas Card Show. One of my favorite things to do is to look through the dollar boxes. We got a chance to show you guys education about why I would buy a certain card, how I would find the price of it, and getting a good deal. Everybody loves a good deal. Well, it's sometimes, not everybody has $1,000 to spend on a single card. So sometimes it's okay to just spend a dollar on your favorite card, or a card that you know you could flip and buy something else with. Whatever your purpose is, just have a good time. Whenever you come to the Dallas Card Show, I highly recommend coming over to Rather Sports Cards. They have some awesome singles, and you're with people till closing, doing what you love. So you guys can check us out on Whatnot. We're gonna run everything on here at a dollar every single week, and we're gonna be at Burbank Cards every single week. If you haven't signed up for Whatnot, here's $10 on me. Use that link down below for your first $10 to spend on Whatnot from me, and make sure you bookmark our streams because we're gonna be doing giveaways in every single show. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And last but not least, if you need a Zion case and you haven't got one, what are you doing? Use the code MOJO10, get a Zion case for yourself, reward yourself, and you get a discount on me. We'll see you guys for the next video.